Hey everyone, today is Sunday, February 2nd, 2020. So back in late 2017, I decoded a major event for the time period that we're in right now, this week. And it's finally here, so I'm going to make a video about it. And um, already this year, we had two major unexpected events with Iran, then the coronavirus. And I'm telling you right now, we're going to see another one. Um, so what you see in the title, Cyber Warfare, is what I believe is going to happen on February 4th and February 6th. Uh, before I talk about those dates, uh, I just want to go over the scene right here from iPad Goat 2. You see the apple splitting here at, at the 131 mark. And I believe this represents, um... January 31st, two days ago, when the stock market went down 600 points and Apple fell 14, $14. So, um, now looking at the, rele the release date of iPad Goat 2 to January 31st, we see that it's 91 months in one week, 9-11 code, or it's seven years, seven months, and seven days, the Apple next to the black seven here but from the date that Apple lost 60 billion dollars in one day its biggest dollar loss in history in a single day was seven years and seven days prior to January 31st and Apple's largest percentage loss when it wasn't worth as much uh, back in 2000, it fell by 50% in one day. So basically split in half. And the time difference to that, the January 31st, is 232 months and two days apart. 322 code, the number of skull and bones that I always talk about. And if we look forward to uh, the 3rd and the 4th, we see that the release date of iPad Goat 2 has a 9-11 code, again, to to tomorrow, this date being 2322, skull and bones again. So um, then 9/11, then 91 months and 11 days to the first target date, where I think uh, the first date of the cyber warfare event will take place. Uh, so the word hacker, I'll, I'll show you. <sighs> These two numbers are important, I believe, 46 and 35, when you type in the word hacker, um, because on the 4th, we have a date numerology of 46, and it's the 35th day of the year. Also, when you type in the word hacking, we have 35, and also 53, 35 backwards. So, um, then hacking also equals 37, and cyber attack equals 37 as well. And that leads me to the Febu February 6th, the 37th day of the year. And it also leaves 329 days left in the year. 923 backwards, a big number, big number with the occult. That date of February 4th is also Shavat 9, which is 11-9 on the Hebrew calendar. And the 6 is 11-11 on the Hebrew calendar. I previously made a video about showing how important the number 11 was in past events. So if you want to go back and look at the, check that out. So the largest blackout in history was on July 30th, 2012, affecting 620 million people in India. And that was on, actually 11 here, the 11th of Av. And the month of Av is also uh, the 11th month in, on the Hebrew calendar. It can be the 5th or the 11th, just like Shabbat can be the 5th or the 11th, because they have... Uh, the civil and uh, their current calendar and the biblical calendar. So now I want to talk about the super moon right here. It has a big connection to previous uh, previous events that could be considered cyber attacks. 
So on no this happened on November 13th, 2016, and it was the largest supermoon since 1948. And if you've seen my other videos, I use rare planetary anomalies to uh, use as marker points, eclipses, great conjunctions. And the time difference between that and that supermoon and uh, February 4th is 3 years, 2 months, and 22 days. A uh, big skull and bones number. Um, and prior to the supermoon, 3 years, 2 months, and 22 days, the NASDAQ froze for 3 hours. And interestingly, on February 4th, it will be the 49th anniversary of the NASDAQ. Now, that supermoon date to March 7th will be, was uh, 3 months and 22 days, March 7th, 2017. And the Statue of Liberty lights went out. So that was on 3-7. Remember I said cyber attack equals 37. Then the, the Venezuela nationwide blackout on 3-7, 2019, was two years, three months, and 22 days after the supermoon. So one, three, multiple twos. That's the number I look for. That affected 30 million. Then we had a stock market glitch after hours showing stocks at a price uh, of 123.47 and they were major tech stocks only tech stocks like facebook amazon apple and that was on 73 backwards 37 and that was that was connected to that supermoon 232 days and interestingly we see the 37 and 123 from my pet goat too C7, C is the third letter, so that's 37. Upside down, it's L, C. L is 12, C is 3. So we have the 12, 3 this way, and the other way we have 37. It can also be combined to 33, because 1 plus 2 is 3. So 12 equals 3. So Now, the supermoon to the largest blackout last year was 32 months and 22 days, the Indonesian blackout. And that affected 120 million people. And was also 322 days um, after, before, before the Vegas shooting. So you see why this date could be a very important date already with all the connections that we had to blackouts, um, our stock market glitch. And it's 11-9 on the Hebrew calendar. I mean, the Oklahoma City bombing was on uh, one nineteen on the Hebrew calendar. And of course, we had 9-11, so. There was another uh, date that I was using as a marker point, which is a supermoon. Um, it's 10-27-2015, and that's going to be exactly 223 weeks apart from February 4th, and 223 weeks in two days apart from February 6th, the, the next date that I want to talk about. And it's also the date that a book called Lights Out was published by Ted Koppel. And I always wondered why, why Ted Koppel would uh, write a book about uh, the lights going out from a cyber attack. Why wouldn't it be like some cyber security expert? Because it's not, this isn't based on fiction. So, so I always kept that date in mind. Then I, then I noticed it was on the same date as a supermoon, so I believed it was really important. Uh, so that date of 10-27-2015 was also 32 months and 20 days prior to the lights going out in Trump when he was making a statement in, in the White House. Uh, and when the lights went out, he said something. He talked about the intelligence agencies and the lights went out and he said, that must be the intelligence agencies. Uh, if you guys remember, that was happened happen, uh on 7-17-2018. And we also had a false tsunami warning 
uh, sent to uh, many uh, many cell phones a, uh, a text alert. So that could be caused by a cyber attack as well. 119 weeks after the supermoon. So the fourth, I found it interesting that it's nine years, one month, and 11 days apart from the Syrian Electronic Army, the hacker group from the Syria. Syria and uh, Iran are close allies, so that's just something to keep in mind if uh, they blame it on this group of people. So, so I tried to look for the founding dates of hacker um, hacker groups or cybersecurity like companies or something uh, like U.S. Cyber Command for the U.S. and I could only find for Syria, uh, Turkey, and the U.S., so, but this one matches. So It's also three years, two months, and two days after the movie release Hacker, and that's about an attack on the financial system. And I did some more work looking into this, and that was that's my conclusion. I'm not going over every little detail in this video, but my conclusion is something something with the financial system on February 4th. Um, so, then on February 6th, it's the, the date uh, I believe the lights could go out, actually, is 191 weeks and one day after the movie called Lights Out. Um, and it's also 90 months, one week, and one day after the largest blackout in history that I talked about that happened in India. So, which was on 11-11 on the Hebrew calendar and February 6th, once again, is on 11-11 on the Hebrew calendar. The 37th day, cyber attack equals 37. I showed you all the previous blackouts are on... Uh, Three seven. So, so now I want to talk about another interesting connection that I discovered, and it has to do with the death of Kim Jong Il, Kim Jong Un's father. Um, well, he died on December seventeenth, twenty eleven, and two thousand two hundred and twenty three days after after he died, the Dow went up three hundred twenty two points. Two thousand two hundred thirty two days after he died, the Dow went up. 223 points. I'm like, that's weird. So I kept that in mind. I'm like, this is, must be some sort of marker point, his death. But I also know that uh, on the 17th, the 2,223 days after he died, it was also 3,119 days after the first cyber attack blamed on North, blamed on North Korea against the United States which hit the White House. Uh, it, it, they uh, attacked South Korea as well. Um, so, but this number was actually the same amount of days between the two Trade Center attacks. So I found that interesting. Then the second date that was connected to his death in the Dow with a 322 connection, it was three years, two months, and two days after the Sony Pictures cyber attack blamed, blamed on North Korea. So I believe that his death somehow will be related to a future cyber attack. And I kept that in mind. And we see that 32 weeks and two days after his death, it led to the largest blackout in history, which I talked about in India, affecting 620 million people. Now, when I look at the February 6th, it's nine years, 10 months, and 11 days. The day that I believe a possible blackout will occur. And that's if you reverse a uh, method that I showed in my other videos. So if you take, if you were to put this 2 6 over here and 1217 over here, then you'd have nine years, 10 months, and 11 days. Something else I found. So I'm just looking for patterns in the past that's happened and they repeat. So 
maybe some other people out there that are doing decoding I can help them and maybe they can help me also figure something out when I um, talk about these number patterns that I discovered so but anyways on June 5th 2012 we had the Venus tran transit that's where Venus goes in front of the Sun passes in front of the Sun like a mini eclipse I noticed that prior to 9-11, it was 560 weeks to this Venus transit, which is 280 times 2. So 280 days prior to this Venus transit was Fukushima. And now February 4th brings this number again, 2,800 days. But when I looked at the magic square of Mercury, it has all these numbers in it, 2080. So I'm wondering if there's some uh, connection with that. So Another thing that I found, when I looked at iPet Go, when I looked at the, uh, used the word scrambler, the biggest word that I found was the word pottage. Well, what came to mind was was Harry Potter so and I noticed that Pottage was the owner and shopkeeper of Pottage's cauldron shop in Harry Potter but then I looked at when Harry Potter the book was published and oddly it's two, 22 years 223 days apart from February 4th then I looked at the movie date of Harry Potter it's 6,666 days apart from February 4th. Why is there a connection with Harry Potter? I don't know. Maybe someone else can put uh, other pieces of the puzzle together with this. But So on uh, the video I pet go to at the 3 minute mark, we see it says markets plunge, war coverage. But... And the markets don't look like they're really plunging, but the dollar is plunging. Minus 14.36. Wait a second. I just realized, remember when I talked about the splitting of the apple? Minus 14.36. Holy crap, that's what apple went down. $14.36. The exact number shown here. It's when I said the, the apple splitting began. Wow, that's really interesting. As I believe there's some ritual tied in with apple, so. Wow, okay. So right here it shows the NASDAQ down $42.61. So I did a Google search on this price for the NASDAQ and see if I could find anything, and I did. Um, on October 26, 2000, the NASDAQ actually rose $42.61. And that was on the 300th day of the year. And you notice that this begins on the 3 minute mark. And remember I told you back on August 22nd, connecting to the supermoon, the NASDAQ froze for 3 hours. So, I'm looking for something with the 3 on February 4th. Maybe something happens at 3 o'clock. I don't know. I'm putting it out there. So, if it does happen, you know it wasn't a coincidence. But the time difference to when the NASDAQ rose 4261 is also 19 years, 101 days to our target date. And as I said, February 4th is the 49th anniversary of the NASDAQ being founded. Here's something else that I discovered. It has to do with the death of Adam Weishaupt, the founder of the Illuminati. And he died on November 18th, which is the 322nd day of the year. Did you know Bush died on 322 on the Hebrew calendar? And he was a member of Skull and Bones. So, looking in the past, the time difference to World War I and his death date 
is 32,002 days. You notice I got reverse in the parentheses. So that's if you were to switch the dates. Um, the time difference between his death and World War II, actually this was the, the time when the United States entered into World War I. I should have said that. World War I actually began in 1914, but as the 322 connection with the United States entering into World War I. So, the beginning of World War II from his death is 109 years, 11 weeks, and one day. 9 11 code. Again, reverse in parentheses. Now, the attack on Pearl Harbor was when the United States entered into World War II, and that was 111 years and 19 days after his death. I don't, I don't believe these are coincidences. And now I notice that February 6th is 69,111 days. Big 9-11 code again. So. so for those of you who aren't really prepared and don't have extra food and water, or kind of just wait and see what happens, I'm telling you now, if you see what happens on the 4th, what I just talked about, some sort of cyber tech, maybe that will convince some of you to go out and buy some extra food and water. Because the 6th, we may get a blackout. So we'll see what happens. Um, take care. I'll talk to you next time.